Dr. Brazza, you know, women, you are your own worst enemies. I just got a message here from Gladys Chalet, woman rep, it was in Gishu. She says, <laughs> <laughs> What does she say? What does she say? I'll, tell, I'll read it right now. <laughs> it says, It's amusing the fixation of a woman selected. There are many more candidates who have selected women to be their own running mates in this race. Ruben Kigame, Kaluyu Joseph, Kariora, who picked his wife, and now Raila Odinga. All nominated women as running mate. In the past, it's also been done. Kalonzo Musioka had Julio Giambo, Ole Kiapi with Winnie. It's really not a first for women. Dr. Brazo, your thoughts? Uh, mm. uh, uh, I think um, Gladys is sending that message with uh, Tang in her cheek. She was here, was, was it this station, not too long ago? And uh, she said she really hopes that uh, the Honorable Raila Odinka is going to pick Martha uh, to be his running mate, and she would be very, very happy if that happens. I think I heard that. So this is a bit of uh, a surprise message, mm -hmm. but I know uh, it's with a tongue in her cheek. <laughs> she she knows that uh, we've uh, we have running mates. We have, and but we started off by saying a woman being selected to run as a deputy president on a major political party. And Martha herself has run, has had a stab at the presidency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, uh, this, is, uh, this is different, yeah. right? This is a major political party. Uh, just like if, if UDA had, uh, is it called UDA? Mm -hmm. Or Kenya Kwanza. Or Kenya Kwanza, if it had uh, picked on a woman. I think we would equally have been uh, excited because it is a major political party uh, and, 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 and it has a chance of, 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 of winning an election and, uh, and, and so a woman would have a chance of becoming a deputy president of the republic. Kaguila, tell uh, me something. Okay, I, I, think, I think Gladys Cholet is on to something. And uh, it is true that uh, it has, we have seen some of this before. But this is the first, as, as my senior says, this is the first time we've seen a woman being nominated in, uh, on, on, a, in a, on, a, on a big platform, uh, a major uh, political contender for the next elections. And that therefore, she is not going to pour rain on my parade. I am going to celebrate. But she has a point. And I just hope that uh, the, the, the tenor that has been set by Honorable Raila Odinga will also now uh, devolve to the counties so that we begin seeing every uh, person who is running for governor. If it's a woman, she takes a male uh, uh, running mate and uh, um, all male running mates start uh, g selecting uh, uh, female uh, running mates. I know it has happened in her list. She did not include uh, uh, Professor Kibuda Kibwana, Governor uh, Kibuda Kibwana, who chose uh, Honorable uh, Adelina Mwao. And they have made a very good pair in, in Makueni, at least uh, to to those of us who have been observing McQueenie and how they have gone about their business. So, and there are a number of other counties that have uh, also had um, deputy governors, uh, women deputy governors, uh, uh, or, or, or male deputy governors where, where they are women. But I hope that this is going to be the trend. 